This video shows how to remove sound and modify video speeds using Camtasia. So as you can see, I have Camtasia open, I have a project started, so I have some media here, and I'm going to scan forward to a spot where I think I want to, here we go. So here's basically me putting something together, which is really boring to watch. And this is a good example of why you would potentially speed up a video and or remove sound. So anywhere you have a video where you want to remove the sound or speed it up for any reason whatsoever. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make a clip basically. So right now you can see on track one I have this entire set of media here. You can see like the sound and there's video and if I shrink down the zoom you can see this is the very end of the video. It's 17 minutes and 50 seconds which is 18 so it's just past that and this is the entire video. It's all one big piece and then you can see along in here where the sound is. If I want to apply a speed or remove sound to only a certain section, which is usually what you would do, um, then I have to actually identify what that area is and it's called a clip. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger again because I find it a little bit easier to work with when it's spread out and it's easier to grab things. Uh, like if you want to cut something from the video or pull something out, if when it's really zoomed in, it's kind of hard to do. Or uh, zoomed out in essence where uh, the least amount of track you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to here, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure if, if uh, so I just clicked off of here and the yellow line is no longer around here, it means this is not selected. So you have to select the track because you can add other things like animations and stuff would be on these other tracks. So if you click on that video to make it the active track, then what you can do is I'm in the right spot where I want to do something. I'm going to click this button here, which is split. And that's going to end the track. In essence, it's going to, it's still part of the track, but it's going to split these two pieces in half. So now that I've done that, now you see I have two pieces. So I can click here and the line stops. You see how it rounds the corners? And then I can also click here. The other way to tell is that the date of this recording or whatever your name for it is will show up here just like it does in the very beginning over here. So that's another way you can verify. So I'm going to go back to where I was, but now I've got, I've got this entire video and the whole rest of the end and it's usually possible that I'm not going to want to change the speed and or remove the sound from the entire thing. So I'm just going to scoot this forward until I can tell that I'm done putting this thing together. So I'm going to go there and the same thing. I've got this selected because the yellow's on it. If it were this, I would click here again and I'm going to click split again. That's the end of where I want to uh, change the speed. Now I'm going to scroll back over here. I'm going to grab this piece and if I zoom out, you'll now see that I have three pieces. My, um, the start piece, the clip that I just made, and then the ending piece. So I'm going to right click on this piece right here that I want to modify and I'm going to say silence audio. And the first thing you're going to see is all the audio disappears. So now if I play this, it's going to be quiet. There's no sound that's going to play. So that's how you can get rid of audio. Again, the first thing you want to do is create your clip, but then once you do that, you can apply that. Now you can apply that to the entire video if you wanted to. It's just not as common as trying to apply it to a certain section. And then the secondary piece I'm going to do is I'm going to speed that up because nobody wants to sit there and watch me put that together and take that long. So I'm going to add a clip speed. So the way that I got to that menu was once again, I'm, I'm clicking on that active piece of the track, that clip, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add clip speed. Now you can either click down here or do it, or I usually come up here and do it because I find it easier to do, which is here. And notice there's 1.00, meaning it doesn't have to be whole numbers. You can use decimals. And I'm going to say five times and just hit tab. And you'll notice that now the video, which took up this much space in normal time, takes up only 20% of that space. So then typically I would grab the other video and I would move it forward or move it backwards so that it all matches up. And then I'm going to come here and now if I were to play this in real time, you'll see how much faster it is. Obviously I'm not normally moving that fast. <laughs> if that doesn't feel fast enough, then you just click on that video and here's your clip speed over here. I could set it to like seven times. And then as you notice, this got even smaller and then let's see what that looks like. or I could do nine times the speed. So let's see how fast that is. So now it's moving pretty fast, you can see, but this isn't that complicated of a thing. So it's not, it's not really too fast. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to pause it. 
I'll move this next piece over so that it matches up. And now my video went from 17 minutes to 12 because I was able to take a section and speed it up. And this is this can be super handy like if you're putting something together or just looking at details or you took longer than you meant to for something. And it's also nice to be able to take out sound when you don't need it. So that's how you can do that using Camtasia.